Hello everybody, my name is Henry and uh, thank you for joining me in this video blog. Uh, today I want to share with you a solution that I found to a particular problem while I was working on my local uh, WordPress uh, site. Um, and basically that is broken links. So as you can see here, all the links to my images are broken. Um, my website's links, or uh, I should say images, are not showing at all. And uh, as you can see here, none of the images show except for the name. And, uh, and here is supposed to be a big background image. Let me show you what the website looks like normally. Okay. This is the website here, as you can see, it has a background image. And uh, if you scroll down, you can see the all the images for my portfolio here. And uh, that is how the website looks like. I had already transferred the website to my life uh, environment and it's working fine. But in here, um, the images do not show. And what happened was that I was changing the permalink settings before transferring the website to my local, um, sorry, to my live server. So I changed it over to default and save the settings. And this is what happened. So I tried to change it back to the custom structure that I had before to see if it would fix the problem and it didn't. The problem still persists. So I went out to Google and started searching on some forums to see if uh, I can find the solution and if people have encountered this before. And there are several suggestions out there, but unfortunately uh, none of them work for me. Uh, so I decided to share my solution here in the hopes that um, that it can help you if you find yourself in this similar issue. Now, this is for my local installation, but it could work for your life environment. Uh, this is very stressful if, it ha if it's happening in your life environment. And hopefully this solution can work. So what you want to do is you want to go into your WP dash content folder and that is located on the root of your website that is located on the root here's your WordPress installation and you want to go to WP content and uploads and you want to check if the HTX6 file here uh, has any information that might be hindering the images and in this case it does it has information here that was probably added by one of my plugins uh, in this case it was probably added by uh, my security plugin here which is a very good plugin for securing your website I highly recommend it but in this case uh, it broke the site um, when changing the permalinks. So what you want to do is you want to delete any extra information in here. You can leave the top part of uh, the file here, but delete the rest. And go ahead and save that. And that should take care of the issue. Just doing a refresh here. There it is. So let's go ahead to the media library and refresh that as well. And 
and uh, let's check here. Oh, I didn't refresh this page here. I had it on another instance of the browser. Let's go ahead and refresh this one too. So you can see still trying to refresh. And there we go. Okay, so this uh, solution worked for me. Hopefully it would work for you. If you have any questions, guys, um, let me know in the comments. Um, I am hoping to make more videos about um, WordPress. And let me know if uh, you're interested. Uh, subscribe if you like the video. And um, thank you for watching.